What's good, what's poppin' YouTube family? We back with a reaction video. We got my boy Sensei with the zesty demons were gawking human flesh. You know what that is. It's a demon slayer season two. It's a demon slayer season two. It's a demon slayer season two. Oh, I'm this is finna be hilarious. Alright, no, this finna be <laughs> Oh wow. Zesty counters all over the place finna be dumb. But I ain't even gonna hold y'all up for too long because I'm ready to see what's in for the top, but I just know this is gonna be so stupid. So, with that being said, Sand Channel gonna be linked down below. A launder is in the video. Make sure you go show us love. Hit the sub button. Season 2 was cool. I ended up actually, not season 2, but uh, not, I keep saying season 2. Season 3. I'm so dumb. The third season was cool. We're gonna hit the lights. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna hit the lights. Season 3 was cool, though. I get to them. We are big cinematic made it full screen and made it cinematic demons be putting the gawk, gawk on, on human, human that gawk, oh, gawk. Yeah, that's right demon slayer season three has finished and oh my god mcgawkers me this shit's trash i had people telling me yo demon slayer three kind of mids and that joint kind of mid nah that shit Gas! Gas! A lot of y'all. I was watching Demon Slayer season three, and I had a boner the whole time, yo. Hey, yo! My dick was on ten. Hey, so yo! Bad, like I had a honey pack. Hey, but, yo! But anyways, today we're here to talk about the goddamn Swordsmith Village art mm -hmm. in Demon Slayer. Now I ain't gonna lie. Before I even get into this, can we talk about how these Swordsmith got these dumb ass masks on? Why the f do y'all look like this? All of y'all got these. Sh I think one dude got a different one. Forgot, bro. Name. He buff as hell. But it looked dumb. Buff like that. And anyways, what the fuck is that? Why do y'all got these small ass mouths like this? Is exactly. That so you can fit a straw in there or something? Some. What do y'all do with that? These motherfuckers out here looking like a mosquito. But that's besides the point. Now I'm not gonna lie. The first two episodes were kind of slow. I mean, you know when Demon Slayer there's a little build up. Like in the last season, we had that little kimono girl Zenitsu acting zesty and then mm -hmm. trying to solve a mystery before we got to the smoke. Before we got Tegan to the good stuff. With all the hoes. Uh -huh. I'm not you got lie, the hoes. I'm a little biased towards season two, but it's only because my man. Tangan was the red slayer. Bro had all the bitches. He had all the bitches. But in this season, we start off with this missed Hashira, Muchiro. And this dude initially is a hating ass, ass nigga. nigga. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. At first, when I saw this guy, I was like, hmm, he seems cool until he interacted with Tanjiro the first time. And then I realized he was a bitch. So basically, Tanjiro encounters him while he's practicing on a robot rep replica of the sun breather i forgot the dude's name and i'm not gonna lie i forgot too i ain't gonna lie to you during this video and i do not care i put this showed up and i drop i don't care <laughs> nah but real rap because i don't care so different that they made this robot replica john have six arms just to replicate his movements Oh, this nigga different. You telling me he had one sword and was moving like he had six arms? Insane. Out here like General Grievous? Tanjiro oh, is me. coming to this village to get his sword home. His sword is fucked up, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. So he needs a new one. And it's always this fucked man, up. And Tanjiro got some practicing with the robot. By the way, this man Tanjiro such a bum, y'all. When he first fought this damn dog, bro, he gave this nigga clubs because he ain't want to get cut. Bro out here being a swordsman fighting somebody with blunt objects because he too scared. It's Still losing. Man, pussy, Tanjiro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you though. If I fought a dude that looked like General Grievous, I'd, I'd be scared too. In his hand too. Ain't no way that dude about to cut me up. Bro out here moving like a goddamn cheese grater with them shit. He ends up finding this old sword inside of it. Now I'm assuming that it was the Sun Breather sword, and I actually think they say that. But you know, who knows? Cause you I know, forgot. The time I was watching this shit, I was also texting and on Twitter. I had to rewind a lot of episodes, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, it be like you know, that though. As we're progressing with time getting his new sword we see one of the other Hashira and this one happens to be the love Hashira and, and oh my god, god. misery is bad I mean bad bad, bad. I'm not gonna lie I looked her age up and, and, and she born June 1st so she 19 right now mm -hmm. and I y'all be always like yo sin how you gonna say she bad she 14 nah not this time not this time grown ass woman cause ain't no way I was getting caught in 4 
Not in 4K. Not in 4K. Y'all always catching me. Y'all be in the comments like, damn, damn son, she, she about 12. 12. It's not my fault. Yo, they be making it. Exactly. Bitches, bitches be they do. 12 with the body of somebody that's 27. They <laughs> ain't damn fault that these Japanese people are perverts. How am I supposed to know that they 12? Exactly. They love so hard to find. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't don't. How long have you been doing this for? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. You put your, your hands that ain't my damn fault, Kyle. Exactly. Don't take it too far. Yeah, and subscribe, or you a bitch. You Facts. Hit us up. Like older. Nah, that was crazy. Well, That's crazy. But anyways, Mystery pops up and she's in this little bathhouse joint in a hot spring. And I'm not gonna lie, she came out the water looking bad. Bad. Yummy. Oh, I'm thirsty. But mm, I'm thirsty. And Mystery are very important to this arc because if it wasn't for them, Tanjiro, Genya, and Nezuko would have probably died. You're probably wondering, hmm. yo, sir, hmm. who's Genya? And it's <laughs> this guy right with the here. flicky well, the first season, the up on the Jasai examiner or whatever the f that woman is. Yeah, when they did their test. I, I I don't remember, bro. And he got his arm f up from Tanjiro. Yeah, it's that guy, bro. And and his brother is the wind Hashira. The guy uh, that's I, a bitch. I was trying to hurt you. Mm -hmm. He said the one that's a bitch. You hurt this beautiful person's girl. Oh, the fuck out here with a scar on his face. His brother got a scar on his face. Niggas out here looking bad. Yo, I'm looking stupid. Lie, like, why your face scarred up like that? Like, but anyways, Genya is important too. He was very clutch in the fight against the Upper Moon Four. And he we'll was. That. But I have to talk about how this man Genya has a fuck gun. Mm -hmm. This man has a strap and a sword anime. Different. Bro, Don't bring a gun to a sword fight. With the Glocky Yana. Mm -hmm. Meaner. Bro was out here with the monkey nuts. Knock the head, so I'm not monkey nuts. This man Genya shooting demons, bro. Fuck a sword. Why would I have a sword when I can shoot you? Exactly. Bro, I'm ever bring a knife to a gunfight. And I'm not going to lie. You probably would think, oh, it's an anime. Man is shown in so the sword powers are much more prevalent, much mm. more potent. He no, got a Glock. He was doing stuff like this with the gun. Editor, kill the clip. Damn, a spear stuck in his dude. He said, "Bet, oh, oh, what the fuck? Did you put a gun on me? Yeah, I did. And you got me fucked up, baby. Put two holes in his neck, bro. His head." Straight off. I mean, his head was gone after the first one. In the main body, but that don't matter, bro. He hit that man with the boo blocker and shit. Like he, it was going off the gonna first one. Me with a damn spear and I wasn't gonna do shit, guy. Oh, I'm about to fuck, fuck kill y'all, you know, this guy. He's like, where he get the Glock from? Man, I got this strap on me. Man, I ain't gonna lie, this motherfucker got a gun, cut. Man, I see that he got a gun. What do you want me to do about it? He said, bigger nine. Some white man, that shit ain't gonna do nothing to me. Ooh. He got a gun. I got this shit at Walmart. Right. Now I'm not gonna lie, he still be having a sword and he be doing his thing. But as this dude was getting electrocuted, he shot the nigga arm off. This man Genya was two v one in these dudes with, with a the gun. Glock. I'm not gonna cap. He was definitely getting punished. He sure for sure was. But he was holding his own with a gun. All I'm saying is, all we need is everybody in Demon Slayer should put the damn sword down and get the glockies the violence, and then pick guns up and start the violence bro these yeah these start the violence snaps. bro Genya is black air force personified the only in demon slayer with a gun i am respecting he, this man now. i do too I for was sure on him at first and then when i seen him shoot a demon's head off i was like and he wasn't and he wasn't missing shots for real yo duwaji what you think about this dude having a gun yo, this shit is stupid as hell he don't know he got the yo mean girl that shit mm -hmm. crazy ain't it Nah, you know what's more crazy though? What? The fact that his whole entire lineage look like frogs? That is crazy. That's crazy. Nah. The fact that these motherfuckers ain't hit subscribe. Right. Why y'all ain't subscribe oh, yet, nah. pussy? Only 40% of y'all are subscribed. Oh, these motherfuckers not wrong. Yeah, y'all not fucking sure with this boy. Button, hit the like, leave a comment, yo. It helps with the video. If you don't do that, I'm going to end up homeless. You want me out on these streets? Y'all want my boy homeless? And hit the sub button. For me too. To I'm going to be out here.
nigga down bad, bro. Right. Running around head down. Mad at Sad. The like, damn, somebody else. And then I'm going to have to blue block him. All because y'all there subscribing to our post notifications on. Are Do that. Beat the sub. Come conscience? on. Help a right, brother out. Lawson, I probably would live with that on my conscience. Like, That's I don't crazy. really give a fuck about you that much. That's damn, crazy. Guys, for real? No, I'm just playing cuz. I'm Hit the sub. Now, moving on no past Guinea and him having a damn strap. This dude is a gangster. I want gangster. to talk about the fights between Michiro and the Upper Moon Look how he's slicing, bro. Mitsuri Tanjiro, Nezuko, Genya, and Upper Moon 4. These fights are crazy. People be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. This season ain't live up to the hype of season 2. Like, like, the highs were better. Bro, the highs were better. Man, Tanjiro actually fought in this. Man, in season 2, he was getting carried. Heavily, heavily. At least in this season, it felt like he was in the. He put in pain. He actually had a chance against a better Upper Moon Demon. By the way, Upper Moon Four is like that. This he man is like that. Into four demons. I think it's anger, joy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let me hit that Google. Google. Because right I ain't gonna hold you. I definitely forgot about his Tengu and his four little demons. Well, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I thought it was four, and then I just hit this Google search, y'all. <laughs> it's like seven of them shits. We got fear, anger. Pleasure, sorrow, joy, hatred, and resentment. And mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I remember that that one big nigga had the joint on his tongue, and then the other nigga had the joint on his tongue, and then the other four had the jaw on his tongue. All right, my fault, y'all. Mm -hmm. Turn Megazord it up. Boy, Sammy doing this research mid video. Who you know got as much professionalism as me? Professionalism. So they pull up on these motherfucking demons, and I'm not gonna hold you. The first nigga was a problem. See, the, the main the bird was not he? Low ass demon. And he's, and he's a, bitch. a bitch. Bro running around the entire time trying not to get cut. I mean, they're chasing this dude in the woods like this. Man, come back here, bitch. <laughs> come back here, bitch. And what the fuck? Man, Tanjiro catches ass. Man, you got a damn gun. Shoot him. Right, shoot him. Dink. I tried to shoot him, but the bullet didn't go through him. What the fuck do you mean the bullet didn't go through? It's a gun. You couldn't shoot him? I mean, I tried. Motherfucker, oh, skin hard as hell. Oh, me? Oh, my God. He ate that. If a gun not going through him, I don't think nothing is. Hey, you the one with the special ass sword and demon blood and shit on it. You cut him. Hey, don't you think I tried that already? Man, are you two little birds going to get a hotel room or not? I'm over there arguing like you a gay cop. What you saying? Dang. Man, that's a cool. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> So don't play. I know what you be doing with time. him. He's being a big pussy. He's the one with fear on his tongue because he's scary, bro. He's the fear emotion. That's why he's running around. But they end up in this little room with him. It's the Miss Hashira and Tanjiro. And they end up cutting the original guy's head off. Well, they try to at least. But as soon as they do, a failsafe basically activates and the emotion demons that are inside of him start coming out. And the first one was anger. This nigga. Right here, dog no problem, and also the one that's going to become a bigger problem later on. But we're not there yet. The reason why this dude is a problem is because obviously he's angry, but also this he's strong. Controls electricity. Bro was out here moving like Benjamin Franklin. Man, cut that cut. Stupid. Man, you are a hostile. You cut him. Oh, oh yeah, that is true. All right, let me try. Oh, damn, this is fast as hell. Oh, he is fast God. as hell. I do everything myself. I mean, you are the MC. You have literal plot armor. Like, stop that bullshit. Hey, Damn plot armor. You know how many times I ended up in a coma? The facts. He ain't got no plot for real. I don't be winning no fights. He don't. The only reason I ever win stuff is because of y'all. I mean, I win sometimes, but I never be upper moon demons. Not by himself. I mean, that is true. I do be carrying shit. Man, man, shut your ass up and cut him. And right when they try to cut this dude, like I said, the fail, fail saves. The anger demon pops up, and then everybody's in trouble. Bro was out here moving like a savage. But the problem is, every time they try to cut or behead one of these guys, more demons end up popping we'll up. Pop so out. that pleasure, sorrow, and joy pop up. First off, this nigga right here got a blue Nike track suit on. He came out on some demons. Like, like, I ain't gonna lie. The Six the blue track suit was looking real clean. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Out here with a spear, looking like a Mortal Kombat fit. I'm not. He gonna was lie. looking clean hey, though. Yo, he was clean, the cleanest man. one. Hey, man, appreciate that cup. But the Joy Demon, this motherfucker out here got wings. I have not seen any demon flying so far in Demon Slayer until this guy popped up. I mean, there might have been somebody that I'm forgetting or something, but I swear to God, it's the first. Joy I don't I think it did. Mixed with a bird. Bro, I, I don't think we like have some sort of mythical beast or something. Yo, is this like a harpy? Bro, out here moving like he a got now Griffin. He's about a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Pull up and shit. Thank God, Genya popped up. Are these dudes who have been mince me? Bro pulled up with that swickety swamity. Man, he ain't missed no shots. With all types of bullets, but they realize that they gotta get to the original body. 
Now I talked about this earlier, but the little guy was running in the woods the entire time like he's trying to find grandma's house. He moving he though. A basket of goodies and a werewolf about to trick his ass. Motherfucker looking small as shit like- yo, He moving though. Microscope on this dude, god damn. Can't see this dude for nothing, boy. Bro moving around in the woods and he the size of a grain of rice. They senses had to be crazy. I don't know how they was keeping up with him. So Genya ends now, up me all the lost to the woods. And hold on real quick, cause earlier I told you that this man Genya was moving different. He had a strat. But, but look at him though. So done eight demon flesh. Bro done mutated. Oh nah. Bro out here got dyed blonde highlights in this shit now. Bro moving like bro hot topic, dang. So this man Genya is all enraged in the woods. This man Tanjiro trying to talk to him, all calm and shit. Tanjiro, you better than me. You being too nice, bro. Mad because Tanjiro talking about he want to cut the original body. He gonna grab Tanjiro up like. I would have banged on bro. Not you. Yo, first off, I got some five gum in my pocket. Your yeah, you bro kicking, boy. <laughs> Shut your ass up, and I'm about to smoke this nigga. I'm going to smoke him. You're not getting no credit for this shit. Man, All right, go ahead. Him. I don't give a fuck who right. kills him. He just need to die. Man, you trying to trick me? Nigga, what? Bro, I you don't care. You trying to trick me? Man, go kill him. Man, man, go get the guy. I don't care if you kill him, Nezuko kill him, Zenitsu come over and kill him. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. He needs to go. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, you might be the dumbest motherfucker ever. Right. Yo, my fault, cuz you smart as shit. IQ high as a bitch. <laughs> so, Genya chasing after this dude in the woods. And eventually, he comes up on him. And realizes so a break. that he can't penetrate this guy's neck. I don't know how this is possible. He has a gun, but I'm not gonna question it. It is what it is. Bro tried to shoot him, and that bullet didn't do nothing. Sword didn't do nothing. I'm like, oh, yeah, nah, this dude different. Bro out here trying everything. Nothing was working. Either his gun and his sword is trash, or this dude got the skin of Superman. But he probably got the skin of both. Bad for Genya. He started to give up on himself, talking down on himself and everything. And here comes Tandro, his positive ass. Don't, don't give, don't don't give, give up, up, guys. Man, don't fuck you mean, don't give you up. really that nigga, dog? Come on, bro. Don't give up. I don't never give up. Did Naruto give up when he wanted to be Hokage? Nah, this is damn much. It's Demon Slayer. All right, that was a bad example. Um, did Deku give up when his quirk wasn't working for him? I'm about to keep breaking his arm and shit every time he attacks somebody. He didn't give up. He should have. The motherfucker got carried by like six heroes. He got like 80 powers. That's true. That was a bad example too. All right, but you get what I'm saying? Motherfucker didn't give up. And you should need to cut his neck. Cut. Give that man some neck. You for real? Man, go ahead, man. I can't do this shit. So Tanjiro has give that man the neck. Dude, up at this point. And right when I think it's about to happen, it doesn't. But this does. Yo, Tanjiro, behind you. Man, what the fuck you talking? Oh, big nah. dog. About to kill your ass, guys. And right at this moment, we see a new demon pop up. Bro is different. You remember I told you about the anger demon and why he be a problem later? Well, this motherfucker done combined all the demons and sucked them up inside him. Pause. Out here moving like perfect sale. And he done turned to some crazy shit. Bro got drums on him. He looking like mm -hmm. a nail from One Piece. Oh, God. He got... Oh, this motherfucker Hashirama. He oh, is. What dragons and shit. Bro, it was bad for them in them woods. I'm not going to lie. If Misery didn't show up, they would have died, bro. Bro, he was punishing everybody. And he got this dumbass, loud ass attack. Like he a Zubat or something using He's somebody is yeah, Zubat. Everybody eardrums. Tanjiro can't even hear shit. Later on in the episodes when Misery pop up, she trying to talk to him. He can't even hear shit. Bro about to start talking like Nezuko. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, God. <laughs> Nezuko, what the fuck you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> Oh, that's true, cuz. So after Tanjiro was about to get eaten alive by a wood dragon, Misery finally shows up. Her fine ass. I'm not gonna lie. Her it's fine like ass. Pain in on this dude. Yo, Misery was slicing shit up crazy. First off, her sword is like, what is up with her sword? Is it like fluid? Like, what, why is her sword able to cut like that? But it's, but it's hard, like though. Loose and, it's like she's fighting with a fucking jump rope or something. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. But she be cutting shit fast. I mean, slicing and dicing. This bitch out here looking like Fruit Ninja. Oh my God. Please talk about you. Fruit Ninja. Don't worry. I'll save you. Baby, I'm trying to fuck up this dragon about to eat me, God. Oh my God. Are you okay? Bitch, I don't got 
I know where you're from. I can't hear you shit. I'm going to take that as a yes. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to save the day. That's what we thought was about to happen. And then nope. misery got punished. I'm not going to lie, bro. This dude was putting in straight pain on putting everybody. Putting in mean even pain. Until the end before he gets smoked. When we see misery again later, she's still, after having her big ass moment where she got her mark and everything. By the way, there's marks on these guys. And I know what these marks are. But I don't know if you guys know, but I read the manga. So don't want to spoil you. However, the marks are important. Remember them. That you can Remember. save a dollar a day by subscribing. Anyway, if Yay. you <laughs> stupid as hell. So really putting pain in. I'm not going to lie, bro. And eventually, she has this big ass moment where she realizes she needs to protect them. The same exact thing happened with Michiro. This man, Michiro, was getting punished by Upper Moon 5. This zesty ass nigga right here moving in this damn vein. That's Look how he looks. Bro, Upper Moon 5 is the most zesty demon in this show. Bro, out here killing people in vibe. Is, Look at him. I like saying Voss like Voss. that. Like, like Voss water. That's a very, very fine Voss. Voss. You feel me on some fancy shit? But yo, this man popping Voss. up killing people in vases, bro. What's up with this old flamboyant ass nigga? So this man, Michiro, was trying to fight him and the entire time, he's just coming up short. He has this big ass flashback where we learn how his brother was a piece of shit, but he really was trying to protect them and he loved them the entire time. It's crazy and I'm not going to explain it because I don't care. I don't don't care even though it was fire but you guys gotta go watch that you said i don't care i don't care watch this shit. but anyways this man meet you <laughs> i don't up. care i don't care started putting pain in on the demon mystery got her mark started, started putting, putting pain, pain on, on the, the demon. demon tanjiro and genya and nezuko were not putting pain in on the demon i have not <laughs> They was getting punished, so they go and chase this dude to an open field. The problem is the sun is going to come up soon, and Nezuko is a demon still. Tanjiro realizes this, but he's trying his damnedest to catch up to him. And he ends up using thunder breathing for a moment. Well, I guess he didn't really technically use the thunder breathing technique, but he used, like, a part of it to basically get a bolt of energy into his leg muscle so he could go fast as hell. Bro's who passed Guinea and Nezuko like he was goddamn Hussein Bolt. I'm um, not going to catch. So he catch up. Deal. Guy. And in this instant, the dude gets big as hell, but it's a different guy. So you probably are thinking, oh, this dude can get big. He kind of like Nezuko can get small and big. No, no, it's no. just a different version, a different like emotion. I think this one is resentment. So he choking this man Tanjiro up, yo, like he into some dominatrix kink shit. Bro, Freaky. Him about to pass out. Freaky. If Genie didn't come help him, it would have been raps. Motherfucker, man, get off my man Tanjiro neck, God. <laughs> I would have put the nine to him. Right. Oh my god, they gonna do shit. Something. Shoot him in the eye. Crazy. Tanjiro gets away from this nigga, choking him. He gets a burst of energy, and with Nezuko's help from her blood, he finally almost cuts this guy's head off. Almost. But the sword barely went in the neck. However, because of this big ass fall that they had, this dude has no arms now. He worse than Shanks. He don't even got one. He ain't got none of them. He realizes he needs to regenerate, so he has to eat humans. This Bro, oblong. Hell. Bro woke up like he was on a beer binge, looking for any sustenance in the area. I smell humans. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Get back here. Oh, hell no. Hey, run, girl. I'm all trying to get ate by this. I ain't gonna lie. They was doing the dash, too. Chasing these humans. Tanjiro finally gets loose and he goes to help him. And at this time, Ichiro pops up and throws him his new sword that isn't yet done being sharpened. And the swordsmith's mad about it. Anyways, that's irrelevant. Tanjiro goes and he cuts this guy's head off. And in a moment of celebration, Nezuko, who is at this point looking in fear and is about to get smoked by the sun, is pointing at this demon. Man, that's a good backup. Man, the sun coming up. Exactly. <laughs> Why do you sound like Curse the Cowardly Dog? So Tanjiro gets put in this weird ass predicament. He either gets to save his sister or save the swordsmith. And Nezuko made the choice for him and kicked this nigga off of her. There's this big ass emotional moment that I'm not going to go through because I almost cried. Nigga, damn. But Tanjiro ends up saving the swordsmith. And Nezuko's fine. This bitch didn't even die. And she can talk now. Hey, Tanjiro. I'm okay. What, what the fuck? Did she just talk? Exactly. Don't know how. I don't appreciate how you guys are making fun of me with subtitles. Subtitles or something? Set up surf. You understand that shit? Anyways, thank goodness I didn't die. Yeah, man. Thank goodness, cuz. Thank goodness, cuz. You about to die. Oh, my God. I'm about to be all alone, bitch. You about to leave me by myself. You know, I don't got no family, cuz. Nah, nah, my family got smoked. You selfish. You just gonna kick me off. Like, 
good swordsman, guy. I'm not gonna save them. I don't care. Listen, I ain't gonna save them. them. Well, that's why I kicked you off, Tanjiro. You wouldn't have been able to live with yourself. Yes, I would have. I don't give a fuck about that. Exactly. That's like 300 swordsmen in the village. That's three niggas, man. That's and three. That's niggas that can do the same shit. Same shit. Sister, God, God, that's how I feel. My sister would do some dumb ass shit like that. You're being kind of selfish. Selfish? Like, like, shut up. I love you. I ain't gonna lie, yo. If you had died and left me by myself, bitch, I was gonna kill you. And I know you was already dead. Dead, but I'm gonna kill you. I'm kill you again, you dumb bitch. God, God. And just like that, Demon Slayer season three came to an end. Yes. The origin story of Muzan. So apparently, this man Muzan had some sort of like demon cancer. All right, well, just regular cancer. And some doctor turned him into a demon. How do you turn him into a demon with medicine? I don't even make any sense. It's always the doctor. He's not even really a demon. He's basically a vampire. Bro can't go into the sunlight, and he eats humans. So you need human blood to live, and you can't go in the sun. He's a vampire. He's a vampire. A demon, and you can turn other people into demons he's a he's a vampire does. oh my god yo demon slayer biting off a of dracula car they they might be they might be they might be they might be nah but season two really was gas as fuck though i keep saying season two what the fuck is wrong with me season three was really gas though facts facts it's facts so hey Sin was talking big facts though. This shit was gas! This shit was gas! Can't lie to me! Cannot lie, will not lie. So, with that being said, the Sin channel is going to be linked down below along the rest of the video. Make sure you go show us some love. Hit the sub button, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Hit the sub button. Like Sin said, you a bitch.